guys welcome back to my channel it's Mimi and today I thought I'd do something different I thought I'd do a story time I usually do my little story times on um, TikTok and if you're not following me on TikTok I have the link below me girls with beards black men with beards yeah they're my weakness they're my kryptonite oh a fine black man with a beard share some of my story times here if you do like my story times please thumbs this video up and share it in comments so i know to do more but i have so much stuff that have happened over my life that i just think that it's like therapeutic to get out so um if you don't know i am now single now and if you are a oldie you know that this channel used to be, have a dad but now it's me just a single mom and um, raising the three girls. And so I went to therapy afterwards. So I love my therapist and I was talking to her and it's been about four years. So she advised me that she thinks, and I said too that, you know, I might wanna go out there and meet some people. So she said that she thinks that I need to, you know, venture out and meet people. So we decided that I would do that. So I was watching one of Louise's Penton, um, she used to be called Sprinkle of Glitter. Glitter. If you're Odie, you know her. I love her, and she used to do talky, chatty vlogs like this, and I, those are like one of my favorites because she's hilarious. But um, basically, she was saying how she was also a single mom. She was also married. I wasn't married, but she was married, and she had her da daughter Dusty. And anyway, long story short, she met her now um, fiance and. Uh, uh, child's father, baby father, whatever you want to call it, on Tinder. So I'm like, if Louise found somebody on Tinder, like, and he's not crazy and she had kids, then maybe I could. I started to get notifications like right away and people were asking me like, what are you looking for? What are you here for? And I'm like, that's a hard question. Like, what am I looking for? Like, I didn't even know how to answer it, but I was just basically like, I'm trying to get out of my mommy bubble. I'm trying to socialize. So this one guy, we started chatting back and forth. What's it called? A uh, happy hour, happy hour. So I said, okay. So we meet, he does look like he did on his profile and we met and he said he wanted to take me to happy hour. So we get to happy hour. We have a, he has a beer. I don't drink, but um, I got me something to eat because you know, appetizers, but I got me something to eat and we were talking back and forth. He was talking about how he had kids, busy work schedule. I told him that I was a stay at home mom, but you know, I always have a lot to do, blah, blah, blah. And then he hit me with that. So are you with FWB? Now, this is something that I'm learning in the new dating world that people don't write uh, full sentences anymore. So after 12 years of being in a relationship, I wasn't new to this. So FWB was once again, one of those new abbreviations that I had no idea what it meant. The only thing I know is the WB from when you were a little kid, it's the WB. So I'm like friends with benefits. Um, okay. I'm not mad at him because at least at happy hour, he told me what he was looking for. And, um, I was a little disappointed because I was like, are you serious? This is a thing. And clearly on my profile, I said, looking for a long-term relationship, you know, cause it's hard making a dating profile. Like you don't want to be too serious, but you want to tell the truth, but you don't want to be like, Hey, I'm a single mom that was in a relationship for 12 years. So I try to make it, you know, that I like to laugh and joke and, you know, I'm into things, but I'm looking for a serious you know, relationship because that's, I'm not looking for a FWB. So um, when he clicked on it, I thought he already knew. So anyway, he we we wrapped the night up or whatever because I guess he realized that that wasn't going to happen. But then we get out the car. He gets out the car and walks around. And um, I don't know if anybody's seen Hitch, but like when they had the conversation about like the 80-20 rule or something like that, like you go in 80 she comes in 20 well he did not clearly watch hitch because he came in a full hundred like he came this close to my face and after he just said the fwb i'm like i don't know who he's been kissing i you know even though 
Corona's real. Like, all the STDs is real, too, before Corona, okay? So, I had to hit him with the neck, with the uh-uh. And oh, you, he had, and, like, I kind of, like, you know, pushed him away a little bit. Like, uh -huh, I don't kiss on the lips, because that's my whole thing. I don't kiss on the mouth, but I don't know you. But he had a whole little try to have a makeout session with my neck. Like, I guess that was supposed to change my mind or something like that. And I was like, okay, mind you, we outside my parking lot, like, and it's still daytime. Like, we went to happy hour, but it, I came home, like, around 7, and now I'm with, you know, daylight saving times. It's still bright. So, I'm kind of like, why he's doing all this, I'm looking around, making sure my neighbors don't see me outside, you know, hunching, you know, this little making out session with this boy. And so, I'm like, oh, okay, all right, you know, pushing him away a little bit. And he, like, trying to cop feels and all that. I, I said, sir, we had the conversation. I'm not with the FWB, you know, I'm just not here for it. So, um, I walked, I said, thank you once again and walked into my house. So, then the next day, I get a text message from him. And he's like, you know, I had a good time, you know, so of course talking about my body, blah, blah, blah. I said, I'm surprised to hear from you because honestly, we already had the conversation about that. Boom. Another guy hit me and we match. Okay, we match, we're talking, da, da, da. So he's like, what you want to do? I said, right now my car is down, so it's nothing that I really can do. He was like, oh, I'll come get you, you know, where are you and stuff like that. So I don't want him coming to my house because... After the F FWB situation, I'm like, no, nobody's coming to my house. So I was like, there's a lake around um, my um, my community and stuff like that. So he picked me up from the house or whatever, and we go to the lake. We start walking around the lake. It's like you can walk long ways or you can walk in a little circle. So as we're walking, we're like maybe 10 steps, 10 paces in. Yo hits me with the... Yeah, because I'm about to go home. I already know what I'm going to eat. I'm going to eat the leftovers and stuff like that. Now, maybe it's me. Maybe I'm petty. Maybe I'm wrong. You can definitely comment below. I know people are going to have their thoughts. But my thing is, if you're going to take somebody out on a date or whatever like that, you're already thinking about what you're going to eat once the situation is over. And it clearly don't involve me. So, what kind of date is this? This is crazy. I don't understand. Like, I'm confused. So, I was like, okay. So, in my mind, I'm like, we're going to hurry up and walk around this lake. And I'm going to go back home. Because, clearly, he has to go home and warm up his pork chops. Okay. Yeah. him, I was a stay-at-home mom. Do you know the whole walk around the lake? This Negro went in word for word and on my bio it says i'm into thrifting and stuff like that he was like yeah because i don't know why people buy people be buying these expensive stuff like you can go to thrift stores and get secondhand stuff and just because the meat says this but like basically telling me the rule i've been alana is about alana is 12. i've been a stay-at-home mom for 12 years you think I don't know to look in the back of the um, daggone refrigerator uh, and when you go into the supermarket and get the dates of it? Yeah, because they put the lower dates in the front. And did you hear about the um, the uh, the the method of cleaning out your air fryer? You put Fabuloso in and then put it on for 30 seconds and stuff like that. I was like, no, because when I'm finished with my air fryer, I clean it out. Like, I am over it. He went on and on. Yeah, because people from when I used to work at Target, you know, the displays in Target, they just put the TVs out because maybe it might be missing a more control and stuff like that. But yeah, I don't do that because I went on Facebook Marketplace and I bought this, this, this. My whole house, everything that's furnished. Is Facebook Marketplace basically, or me going to thrift stores, or me going to something like that? And I said, yeah, my I love to thrift. Like he asked me what I like to do, and I was like, I love to thrift. And he was like, yeah, this how you do it. This how I do it, sir. I've been doing it. What are you talking? So the last incident happened. My cars broke down. So I had um, this electrician come out. And he looked at the car. He's an old man, but he seemed, you know, to know what he was talking about. He knew it wasn't him. The car won't start and all this other stuff. 
So um, he was outside working for a long time. It was hot. It was like 90 degrees. So I came in the house. So then that's when um, he finally texted me and was like, you know, he, the car, you know, he's done with the car. So I had to go up to the 7-Eleven up the street from my house to get the money to pay him because to come out, he already said it was be $50. So he was like, you had a alarm that was set in that's not manufactured. He just owned that. Maybe he thought that was draining the battery. Something, something, something went on and on and on. So I'm just trying to get his money. So we get back in the car and we're talking and I'm like, well, do you know, he thinks it's the start. I said, well, do you know anybody? Cause I, you know, I'll definitely, if they do what they're supposed to do, I'll pay to get the starter fixed. Cause it is really kind of cheaper to get that car fixed if I can get it up and running, but it's an older car. So I don't know if I should get that car fixed or if I should, you know, go to the, um, go to uh, uh, go basically by purchase another car but this car is already paid for so i wouldn't have to have a car payment so i was kind of trying to get this car fixed so he's like yeah my cousin knows this that and the third my nephew and stuff like that so i'm like okay so then he goes um you got a man it didn't dawn on me because he when i say older he's like way older like super light you know let me check your carbonator girl you know with the cigarette hanging out and all oh that's just your carbonator girl blah 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 he's like somebody grandfather old so i'm like no i'm just a stay-at-home mom single you know just because we chat and i'm just thinking we chit chatting up so i give him the 50 dollars. so he was like can i call you sometime i was like me I said, no, I'm just a stay-at-home mom of three. I just, I got kids, you know? Like, he's like, well, I got kids and grandkids. I'm like, yeah, but I said, <laughs> you know, just laughing it off. Like, oh, okay. So he's like, is it over if I call you sometime? I said, yeah, you know what? You can call me if your nephew can fix the um uh the thing. You know, maybe once again, I'm wrong. But if you did, and age ain't nothing but a number. I get that. But he wasn't my type, you know, physically. And you can't go all by looks. But the bottom of the line is, sir, you just took $50 from me. If we did go out on a date, I'm basically paying for my own food. That's not a date. So in my mind, maybe courting is dead. Maybe it's because I've been out the game too long. I don't. Maybe I need to talk to my therapist again. And you guys could be my therapist. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. You know, one girl said, girl, get off of Tinder. Just get off of it. But, you know, but my mind is if he wanted to, he could have been like to me, you know, keep your money, pay me with your time. And, you know, go out on a date with me. Even that, even if I wasn't that more attracted, I'm very stimulated by conversation. Um, you know, have your love, your love languages. I think one of them is um, uh, acts of services. So him coming out and him fixing the car, a part of me, even though it felt like a grandpa looking at your car, it wasn't like sexual, but a part of me felt like, you know, safe, like this is a good guy looking at my car. So even if I wanted to think of him in the aspect, you just took my money and bought yourself a hot dog, a Slurpee, and some other stuff. And now you're talking about you want to take me out on a date. And on top of that, as a woman trying to get her car fixed, if I was a man, that would not happen. But because I'm a woman and I'm outside and he knows that I'm a stay-at-home mom, I have to deal with that. You're supposed to fix the car. I talked about it in my vlogs. So if you don't watch my daily vlogs, please, please, please watch my daily vlogs. But those have been the three encounters that I have had so far. And then on top of that, I have slid into my DM, my first boyfriend ever. So he slides into my DM because he sees that I'm single. Mind you, he's married. And asks me what I'm doing. So at first I'm just talking like, oh my God, I haven't heard it from him in years. He's your first ever boyfriend, da, da, da. But I know he's married. Yeah, so you know, you know, can we hang? Can we chill sometime? I'm like, aren't you married? He was like, yeah, but you know, my wife be crazy. She be going through some things. Now, I've just been in a relationship where that happened to me. So hurt people hurt people. So I'm not trying to hear that. So I was like, we can be cool with stuff like that. He's like, I always loved you and all. Look, you are mad. You went to the altar, sir. You would have talked. She would have white dress. How you going to always love me? 
Like, this ain't Whitney Houston. You can't love me. This is what dating is. And this is what the standards are. FWBs. Um, niggas that just already thinking about their dinners and it don't include you. Married men and men who um, take your money and then ask you out on a date so you can pay for your own stuff. I'm not here for it. So please, 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 if you have any stories about dating or finding true love, leave it. If you have any horror stories about dating, leave it because I love to read them too so I don't feel like I'm alone. But definitely, definitely, definitely let me know and where I'm wrong, where I'm going wrong. If I'm reading into it too much, I don't know because I am an overthinker. But just let me know because this has just been like, I am like, I am mentally drained. Like I am tired and I don't want to miss out on something that could be good because, you know, like my grandma would say, um, a rotten apple, feet, you know, rots the bunch. So even though they're like that, I don't think, and this is not male bashing. I don't think all men are terrible and I don't think that chivalry is not dead. Oh, I didn't tell you about the other guy that I talked to. He wasn't from Baltimore, but um, we were talking over the phone and he was cool at first, you know, because my brother told me to get me an IT guy that's basically, you know, out of the game. So he was like ex-married. He was just looking for a role. He wasn't looking for FWB, but we were talking later that night and we were talking about what deal breakers are. Do you know he went into an hour conversation schooling me on what manners were? What he believed manners were, like if we were at a restaurant and I had my phone out and I checked my phone and how if you have to stand up and shake somebody's hand, if it's what ca common courtesy was. I, I, I felt like I was talking to my father. I literally had to go on my mind because usually like, you know, you talk to your dad and your dad goes on a tangent and out of respect, you just sit there and listen. I literally had to say, yo. You're not related to him. Like, you got to go. I lied. I was like, the kids got, I got to get the kids ready for bed. I got to go. He went on an hour conversation about courtesy and what's common courtesy and how he won't be disrespected and all this other stuff. Like, um, I don't think about, I don't think that if somebody looks at their phone, if they're at the table and we're talking, like, of course, I don't want them having like text messages on their phone blowing off but i can understand if they work or if they have kids or something like that and they have to check their phone or something like that because i got kids and i keep my phone next to me just in case if i'm on a date if somebody calls or the babysitter calls or something like that he went on talking about that it never drama never happens like that and if you know that you have the situation and that might happen that you put your phone in your purse but you might have the ring on then that's when you check but if you have the phone, then you're wasting somebody at the time that is calm courtesy. And I get the rules of calm courtesy, but sir, I did not want to lecture about the rules of engagement of calm courtesy and respect. I did not ask for that. All we was doing was just talking, you know, getting to know each other, you know, but you married, I had, you know, you know, this, the comments, like it didn't even get to a date. It got to, no, never, never, never again. Like I'm done. Like it was so, it was, I swear, it is so weird. Like, it was, I, I, if you, they say girls are attracted to their fathers. I don't know. My brother says it all the time. But I swear to God, for like 30 minutes, I, because it went on that long. Like, I'm not lying. I'm not exaggerating. I'm not saying 30 minutes. I'm like 30 minutes. I felt like I was talking to my dad and he was giving me the rules and the lecture of common courtesy. Until I had to like snap out of it and be like, I don't owe this nigga my life. Like I'm reclaiming my time. Anyway, I'm going to go, but I have other story times, but I want to see how this does. You let me know if you like it. You let me know if you want to know about my dating journey and seeing how my dates go and stuff like that. Because Lord knows I want to tell it and, um, and other stories and stuff like that. And if you have any um, ideas of stories that I can tell you, because I have been through so much. I'm talking about dating since high school. My first boyfriend was 21. I was 16. Like, girl, I could go on for days. Like, I could go on for days. And once again, I want to reiterate, this is not male bashing. I still have hope. A little bit of hope. But I still have hope that chivalry is not dead. That, I, that the Mr. For Me is out there. But right now... 
the pickings are slow so i don't know but i like sharing with this this was really fun please let me know if you enjoyed this i'll see you guys in the next one thanks for watching bye